Good morning, truck and junkies. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. I'm waiting for everything to boot up. <clears throat> I've already done my walk around and all that stuff. Hey, there goes another coil. What's up, homie? Bet he's going the same place I am. We'll let him get down and roll a little bit. Looks like he used a lumber tarp on his. That poor dude. <laughs> I bet I end up uh, helping him fold that up. But anyway, um, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We hit 170, or blah, 170, 750 uh, yesterday. Uh, we're doing really well, I think. I am enjoying it. By early next year, we'll be hitting 1,000. Uh, you know, my goal was 500 this year, so we're above that, way above that. And... Uh, Thanks to all you guys out there watching, and I appreciate it. I really do. Um, but uh, we're going to get going here in a minute. Head on down to Blyville. checked in we're done unloading and we got a plan to go over here to Yamato and pick up some beans and take to Oklahoma City so this place I just dropped off at Ryerson just for some FYI for new drivers who come to Ryerson and Armour Rail Okay. They want you to be completely un, unchained and untarped and all that stuff before you pull into the building. Now, when you check in, they're not going to tell you any of that at all. And there's no signage to tell you any of that at all. So don't go in there with chains on your coil because you'll get the guy that I got who was very condescending and wanted to lecture me on pulling my chains out. Yup. And I informed him that there wasn't anyone behind me and it takes me about two minutes to take these chains off because it's much, much faster taking them off than it is putting them on. That's for sure. I like a lot. And he informed me that I needed to back up out of his bay and make sure that all my chains are off before I pull back in. Yep. So, FYI, for new drivers going to Ryerson in Armorale, over here by Kinder Morgan and Nucor and Yamato and all that other good stuff, make sure you got all your chains off before you pull into that guy's bay. I don't know if he didn't get hugged enough when he was a kid, if he was bullied when he was in high school, junior high or what, but he has got a serious chip on his shoulder. So I said okay, and I backed my butt up out of the bay. 
and I took all my chains off and I took my time putting all my stuff up before I pulled back into his bag. Yup. Oh, I remember that little story. Spent a lot of time in that house. So anyway, let's go to Yamato. We're headed over here to the ballpark to get loaded. Uh, over here, you cannot get loaded early. They 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 stick to an hourly schedule. So if your appointment's at 11 o'clock, you're going to get loaded at 11 o'clock. They line you up and they'll call you in for an hour and they don't care. They don't care if they're all done on the ballpark they, with all the rest of the 10 o'clockers. They don't care. It'll be 11 o'clock. Uh, so he gets off the CB saying... Uh, saying that uh, all 11 o'clockers could come up to the scale. I mean, just got his last word coming out of his mouth. And I get up and get in my seat, and the people behind me already trying to get around me. And I'm like, come on, people. Man. Like all you people, just stay right there behind me. You'll get you'll get loaded when you get loaded. They got to get five miles more down the road than I do. I guess I don't know. But whatever. Let's go get loaded. So we're picking up uh, three pieces. And they're uh, 41 and 41 feet 8 inches. Yep. Not too bad. Not too shabby. That'll work. Works for me. So do me a favor. Go to my Teespring store and get you a t-shirt. I've got Let's Go t-shirts and Truckin' Junkie t-shirts. And uh, eventually I'm going to have some more designs. I've got them in my head. I just hadn't done them yet. I was going to do them this weekend, but I had so many problems out of my stinking, stinking internet connection. It wasn't worth doing it because it was going to be lost anyway. So, it's whatever. But anyway, the link is down below. And it works now because I fixed that. <laughs> I was missing a few letters, but that's okay. But anyway, let's get loaded. Well, we're loaded. Check this out. I got three beams at, uh, at uh, Dunnage right there is going to have to be moved back or shimmed up one or the other because it's not touching. But look, they're hauling or they're bringing in a big old crane. Got a couple of tracks there. Part of the uh, gantry system just came in. Way up there. That one just rolled in. About to build some more stuff, it looks like. Hmm. But anyway. Now I got it back to back to square. We're gonna throw some more chains and uh, get uh, get this all strapped up. Head that way, let's go.
Walmart right here at BB. Uh, the wife's gonna come pick me. Oh, it's dark. Maybe I can move over here. Huh? Huh? Uh, the wife's gonna come pick me up. We're gonna have some dinner. I'm gonna go home and take a shower, and then uh, get back on the road and head on to Oklahoma. But uh, yeah, I'll be back. All right, we are back on our way. Oh. Wife can't pick me up. We had some subway. Well, we've got enough time to get to Fort Smith or so. And we're going to park her for the night. And we'll drive the rest of the morning. We've got until 2 30 tomorrow to get there. So, uh, we got plenty of time. And uh, I was glad to see my wife. It's, you know what, anytime I can, I can sneak an hour in here to see her after I've been out for a week and a little bit, you know it. Uh, someone in the comments uh, said they liked the new camera angles that I've been doing. So I'm trying to get all my GoPro footage back. And look at all the bugs. I'm like a bug graveyard, man. I bet I attract all the bugs. Every bug in the state comes to my windshield. I got a nice jag. Anyway, uh, so I've got new camera angles coming. And I did a few more today. Trying to get my stockpile back up of road footage, cam camera angles. We're gonna be here in a minute, but anyway, let's go. Well, we have parked for the night. Um, we've got a hundred and hundred and sixty-five miles to go in the morning, which will put about put us there about their estimated. Uh, the estimated uh, time that they were telling me I was going to get there. Um, we were in Oklahoma and we did 449 miles today. So, all right. Keeping that average up. Can't beat it. But I appreciate y'all being here and uh, uh, being with me every day. It's a lot of watching, isn't it? Uh, but uh, guys, come back tomorrow and we'll do it all over again. I'll see you tomorrow.